Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, I've got a bunch of computers around here, but none of them are eligible to run Windows 11. So it came across some cash and it's time to buy some refurbished laptops from Amazon. First up is this Dell 7490. Looks like it came out around the year 2000. There's this review here. Uh, this is a eighth generation Core i5. You got eight gigabytes of RAM and a 250 gigabyte SSD. This is for my wife. She just does general web browsing and the little Zoom calls here and there. And you see this came in at around $300 but the original price was around $1,200 or more, depending on whether you got the, the eighth generation or the seventh generation. Okay, let's crack open the box. It's well packaged. Yeah, these bubble wraps for these laptops, they're, they're, they're pretty solid. Okay, you got the power cable, all right. Let's get the box out of the way. Okay. Let's pull the goods out here. Yeah, they've got a lot of extensive documentation. It kind of feels reassuring that they've got all of this uh, support information here. Hopefully I won't need it. Here's everything you need to know about the people that sold you this refurbished laptop. Even how to create a recovery media, etc. All right, let's get to the goods here. So this is the Dell 7490, like I say, circa year 2000. You look at that. Yeah, this is, these are excellent condition refurbs. So I'm not seeing any Mars to the finish there on the front or the bottom. Let's check out the sides. Everything looks very clean. I don't see any cracks or scratches anywhere. Lots of ports. That's good. It's a lightweight laptop, but it has a good solid feel to it. Okay, here's their checklist of everything they looked at to make sure that this was ready to be resold. And you see here, the keyboard's very clean. The screen, again, there's no mars or blemishes on anything. I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah, there's that 8th generation Core i5. I'm going to go ahead and power this up. And again, this is Windows 11 Pro, so that gets me uh, out of my Windows 10 dilemma. Yeah, I want to start doing some uh, Server 22 Hyper-V, and I want to use the Windows 11 as the workstation to interact with the Hyper-V. Had a few questions on the channel about Hyper-V and Windows 11, managing it in a non-domain environment. Okay, we fire it up and we come to the standard Windows 11 setup. We'll go ahead and go through that. And here you can confirm the specifications, that Core i5, 8350U CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit Windows 11 Pro. Now, I need to render video, so I need a little more juice. I'm going to go with the Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM and the 256 gigabyte SSD. And this is the Latitude 7400. I didn't pick up when I was buying that, but this one has a touch screen too. So here's a review from late 2019, making this laptop maybe four years old. And they're saying the base model would be 1299. But again, this is the touch screen model and this is the eighth generation. So I think for $369 plus tax, I did pretty good. Again, you see it's refurbished, excellent condition. Yeah, so they're saying it could be anywhere between $1,299 and $2,335. So I feel like, you know, yeah, these laptops, sure, they're three or four years old. Excellent condition. We're going to see this in this case as well. I did go ahead and purchase the Asurion um, protection for these, about $50 each for two years. Uh, I don't normally buy the extended warranty for things, but it just seemed to make sense in this instance. Yeah, I like this one was double boxed, almost like that wasn't necessary, but here we go. Yeah, I guess this inner box wasn't strong enough to meet Amazon standards, so they packed it in their own box. 
And this one actually is shipped and sold by Amazon. Here's the power supply. It still has the plastic cover over it. Yeah, see that? We'll peel that off. There we go. There's no cover on that side. This one doesn't have as much uh, information included with it, but hey, Amazon renewed guarantee, so we'll see how it goes. Generally with electronics, I figure if they work out of the box, it's going to work forever. It's like things usually show up right away if there's something wrong, but I could be wrong sometimes. <laughs> Look at that again, pristine on the top, checking out the sides, everything's clean. It's funnier, the newer the laptop, the less ports they have. Bottom looks fine. There we go. Oh, there's a little nick right there. Just a little tiny nick. Yeah, excellent condition indicates that you shouldn't see any blemishes or, or imperfections from one foot away. Uh, information about creating recovery media, etc. Again, clean keyboard. There's that 8th generation Core i7. And the screen is free of blemishes. Yeah, I was kind of caught off guard. I was excited. It's got a touch screen too, so that's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and power this one up. This one goes pretty quick. It's a little faster than the Core i5 was. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. You know, $800 plus or minus with a two-year warranty replacement, you know, for a couple of laptops. Yeah, they aren't the latest and greatest, but uh, you know, we, we don't really, I'm not a gamer, so I don't need like huge graphics GPU. The CPU and RAM come in handy for rendering video. That's my primary interest in uh, my computer equipment is that it's capable of rendering video. Yeah, the camera has that little hide switch so that you can cover the camera. That's baked into this. Okay, and by the time we get through setup, we can see all of the specifications were just as advertised. Core i7-8665 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and like I say, the 256 gigabyte SSD, Windows 11 Pro. I'm ready to go. Yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah, unfortunately, the 7490 is out of stock, but I still see this 7400s in stock. Look for the links down below. Yeah, and look forward to more of my Windows administration videos. Like I say, I'm going to cover Hyper-V 2022. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my Windows administration videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.